Hey everyone, Jordan here again. I've been away for a little bit um, and I wanted to get uh, another video out that somebody requested. I usually make videos for teachers to show different ways to use Google Apps Script um, to incorporate coding into lessons and uh, cool projects for classrooms. However, um, I also do a lot of React uh, JavaScript programming and I made a video about how to use the Create React app tool with uh, SAS and SCSS. Um, and that has since updated since the last time I made a video about that. So I'm going to show how to uh, go ahead and use those updates. So I'm going to create a new uh, React app tool and we're just going to call it uh, SAS Demo. And this is going to install. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and CD into my SAS demo. Um, and let's go ahead and start things with npm start. Um, that runs uh, the dev server. And I'm going to go ahead and let's put that off on the side and let's open up the code. And you'll see in the source directory, you know, we've got the standard create react app tools. What we want is to be able to use SAS or the Stassi uh, CSS, SASE CSS um, extension. Um, in our code. So we're going to do that. We're just going to follow the tutorials almost exactly. Um, and we're going to install node sass chokadar. Node sass chokadar. And the reason it's not just node sass is because there were some problems um, with kind of the the way it was reloading with node sass. So somebody forked it and created a, you know, fixed those bugs. I don't know why the bugs weren't fixed in the um, original package, but uh, it is what it is. So as that installs, I'm going to go ahead and copy in a build CSS and watch CSS script in our package.json file. So right here in the scripts um, array of package.json, we've got a build CSS and watch CSS. And what this is doing is it is, they're just little um, scripts that you can run from the command line. Um, and the reason that the watch CSS is so long is because it kind of, um, it allows you to do uh, relative paths um, uh, imports in your uh, style sheets. So, or I guess they're absolute paths. Relative paths? Absolute paths. Um, I actually can't remember. If you remember <laughs> whether they're absolute paths or relative paths, uh, leave a comment below. <laughs> Let me correct me. Um, and then we need to do, ah, we actually want to run this when we run npm start. And to do that, we're going to install another package, npm run all. Uh, and what that'll allow us to do is change the uh, start and build scripts here. Um, I'm going to actually just comment them out for right now, and I'll delete them in a second, because I don't think you can actually have commented uh, code in your JSON files. Um, but we need to actually make it so that we've got a start JS. Then we want a, we want to replace that original start script, um, and we're going to put that npm run all command. That's going to run watch CSS right here and start JS right here at the same time. And then we want to actually replace the build 
and that's going to do the same thing. It's going to run build CSS and React Scripts build. So it's going to run this command, and then where is our build? Oh, it's in the scripts folder. Um, so that should be all we need to do to have everything running. Failed to save package.json. Why is that not working? Okay. So um, let's go ahead and, and, oh, I should still have it running here. But I need to go ahead and close my dev server. We're going to run npm start again. And now, didn't find any CSS files. Uh, so, not, didn't, found CSS files, didn't find any SCSS files because we need to create some. What we should be able to do is create app.scss, and we're just going to call this uh, welcome. And we're going to make the color red. OK, you'll see all the styling kind of got uh, screwed up there. I'm going to remove all of my code in here. I want to go ahead and replace this class name with welcome. And inside this div tag, let's just say hello to all coders. Fix my indents. You'll see this reloads with red. So this SCSS file is actually, uh, it's watching for changes in this file, and then it is throwing it into the original app.css. So in our JS files, in our React files, we are still linking to the CSS. All that's happening is on the run, it is, uh, uh, Node SAS is looking at it, reformatting it into CSS, and we've got working SAS and CSS. You can also, so if I, um, yeah, you can use SAS files too. It doesn't have to be CSS. Uh, what can I do here? Let's go app.sass, and we'll do welcome. I cannot type when I'm making videos. Um, and of course, in SAS, there's no brackets welcome, and we're going to do color red. And I'm going to delete the CSS. I'm sure it causes problems. So, in this, let's make it blue so we know that there's something different. There we go. Hello to all coders in blue. All right, it's that simple to. Uh, import these. I'm going to copy and paste. I'll put a link to the documentation in the, um, I'll put a link below and then a quick little uh, cheat sheet version um, below also with the exact commands that you need to copy and paste in. Um, as always, keep coding.